You cipher. India's first multi-gaming, multi-platform e-sports championship. Six teams of 14 players each compete across four games. Counter-Strike Global Offensive, Dota 2, Tekken 7 and Real Cricket 17. Each team faces the other team twice in the league stage. And three points each are awarded to the winning teams of Tekken 7 and Real Cricket 17 in each match. Five points each are awarded to the winning teams of Dota 2 and CSGO games in a match. The top four teams in the league stage move to the knockout rounds. U Cypher, six teams, 84 cyber athletes and a grand prize pool of 51 lakh rupees. Welcome to day 18 of India's first multi-platform, multi-gaming, multiplayer esports championship. You cipher Naya Sport, Naya Superstars. My name is Aisha and I'm here to remind you that all our six teams are raging towards victory and a prize pool of 51 lakh rupees. Our second round robin has started and today's match is with the bottom two teams. Ke hai. It's the Crusaders versus the Akramaks. In the last battle between the Crusaders and the Akramaks, Akramaks won 11-5. Today, the Crusaders have a chance to make a comeback. They have a chance to take their revenge. Last time, they lost three games. And since then, they have been practicing three times as harder. If you look at the leaderboard, Akramaks are at 35 and Crusaders are only at 23. I am ready. You are ready. The gamers are ready. So let's get the day started. Crusaders, Crusaders. Hi, guys. Yo, I shot one up. All right. You guys seem a little low. Yeah. Uh, bottom of the table after five games, so... No, of course. Their hope should never be dead. Yeah, yeah. But what have you identified as your strengths? Because let's just focus on what you guys are good at. CS, uh, epic comeback last time. And yeah. they have been, like, fabulous entire tournament. They, uh, when we played Akramaks, who has, the, like, the strongest lineup in CS on paper as well. So 16-14 against them was a big uh, task that we did. I think so after last match, they are, uh, their motivation is high. Let's talk to Ozzy. Man, Tekken 7 is my favourite game. So, like, forgive me if I'm going to be a little harsh, but why haven't we seen even a single victory from the Crusaders so far? I had a timing in last game. I had a timing issue. I had a timing issue. I had a lot of timing for attacking. I had a lot of improve. So, my game well, it seems like your strategies are in place, but where is the energy, guys? This is you, Cypher. Come on, guys. Come on. Come on. Come on. Go, go. Go, go. Go, go. Go, go. Go, go. Go, go. Go, you guys seem happy. It's just because your match is from Crusaders today. No, no. My team has been playing good every day. We were very confident that we will play good. We will play good. We will kill the people in front of us. We will kill the people in front of us. So, it's not like that. We are practicing. We are showing the game. We are seeing what will happen today. I said that we will get a god of cricket on the Ucipher. But we have to get a god of Yuvraj on the Ucipher. Six sixes in one over. Now you have made a record, nobody has even come close to it. I mean, are you going to see something today? Mostly. Mostly. This is so intimidating, I feel like I'm going to be better than that. Let's go, Akramax! Welcome to match day 18 of our U-Cypher Championship. Today we have the Crusaders taking on the Akramax. Last time the Akramax got the better of the Crusaders, winning three games to one. Today, let's see if the Crusaders can turn the tide and win it for their team by a huge margin because they are reeling at the last position. Let's jump into Tekken 7. Players select their characters. Every round, the HP will be finished in each round, that will be the round. Every match is a race for three rounds. And the player who will win the first three matches, वो बनेगा टेकिन सेवन का विनर। Let the battle begin। I'm itching to begin। I'm sure you're itching to begin। So Ozzy and Afro Ninja, let's see some action। A 
Hello everyone, today it's gonna be the Crusaders versus the Akramugs. On Crusaders we have Aussie and on Akramugs we have Afro Ninja. Round 1 Fight Kazumi just backing off at the start of the game to keep that distance but that lunging tiger from Kazumi. Kuma just low on HP and now he strikes back but good blocks from Kazumi as well but not this time it's gonna hurt her a lot and that lunging tiger is gonna get Kuma low on HP he has the rage art on him and will he be able to execute on time and yes it does but blocked by Kazumi and that lunging tiger is gonna knock him off. Fight. Well, a good hit from Kuma at the start of the round and now Kazumi just rushing towards Kuma and Kuma with that hit on the head. It's gonna be a huge smash. The Tiger Strike jumps in and Kuma again with that smash. Looks like he knows only one move and that is really strong. Kazumi with that Rage Art misses it and draws a huge distance but Kuma won't miss the Rage Art on her and that home run is gonna knock her out. KO. Round 3. Fight. Kuma again with that smash on her head. This is a huge damage from Kuma. Look at Kazumi. She has the rage art, but not much time for her. And now she executes it. It does connect and it looks like it's gonna be a knockout for Kuma. Round four. Fight. Kazumi trying to play defensive, but Kuma is aggressive. And now the clash between both of the players and Kuma did, does take some damage but that hit on the head of Kazumi, that smash is really really hard, that's a huge damage and a knockout. Final round, fight. This is the last round of the match number one and with the bear hug on Kazumi, she's now stuck into the corners but looks like it's gonna be a comeback but not for long. Kazumi low on HP and that's a win for Aussie. The Crusaders won the first match of best of 5-3-2. Round one. Fight. This is match number two of the best of five and Kuma just forcing Kazumi to fall back and now Kazumi with that lunging tiger on Kuma but just Kuma with that one single move is giving so much damage to Kazumi because both of them low on HP Kuma pulls the rage out but blocked from Kazumi and that lunging tiger is gonna knock him out. Round two. Fight. Kazumi again trying to fall back because now she notices that Kuma is just gonna repeat that same move again and again. So now it's like Kuma has to come close to Kazumi to hit that move and she can just keep doing the but Kuma with that amazing hit knocks her off. Three. Fight. Kazumi at the start, dungeon tiger from her on Kuma. Kuma, both of them now on equal HP, just like carefully back and forth moving. Like this is a pretty much intense game for both of them and the bear hug to Kazumi. This is not looking good because Kuma has just one smash on Kazumi's head and she is low on HP. She now has a rage out and that does connect. And I think it is gonna be a knockout, but no, it's still a little bit of HP left. And that lunging tiger won't deal a huge damage, but Kuma with that rage art, it has been blocked, and the lunging tiger has been blocked as well, but still a knockout. Round four. Fight. Well, Kazumi noticed that the lunging tiger at the start of the round is beneficial for her, and the tiger strike as well. Amazing move. Now she is just gonna spam the lunging tiger on Kuma. That rolling tiger comes in. This was just a full tiger performance. Final round. Fight. Kazumi now just like moving forwards and using the lunging tiger to win this game. Kuma just maintained this, but the bear hug from him on Kazumi. Kazumi now going a little bit low on HP, but that lunging tiger jumps in again and again the third time Kuma with the rage art it has been blocked by Kazumi and that lunging tiger is gonna make the Akamaks win this match this has been the first game in the U cipher which has gone to the best of five one more round has been won by the Crusaders and one more by the Akamaks
And now let's jump into the final round of this game. This is a pretty intense game so far and it has gone till the best of five. Kazumi just spamming the lunging tiger third time in the row and now Kuma starts with that smash on the head. Again with that lunging tiger, now Kuma low on HP has the rage art on him. He is just spamming a single move to knock Kazumi out. And yes, the Rage Art does connect and that home run is gonna knock her out. Two. Fight. Again, at the start of the round, the Lunging Tiger from Kazumi. This is gonna be like a spam of like a single hit from Kuma and the Lunging Tiger from Kazumi. Again with the Lunging Tiger on Kuma, Kuma going low on HP and the Tiger Strike is gonna knock him off. Round three. This is round number three and again with the lunging tiger and here it goes for the second time as well and that hit to the face Kuma is now getting impatient with that spam of the lunging tiger he has the rage art and it does connect but it's still gonna leave Kazumi on a huge HP lead. Well, Kuma is low on HP that impatient move and the lunging tiger is gonna knock him off. Round 4 Well this could be the last round if Kazumi wins this and now look at just like the spam of that lunging tiger from Kazumi Kuma going low on HP and again a spam coming in from Kazumi Kuma is low on HP does have the rage art right now and that is not gonna connect because a block from Kazumi was really good and that knocks him off Good job, Afro Ninja. That was the closest game on U Cipher we have ever witnessed. I mean, my heart was here right now. I was that you were going to kill and finally you won your second straight victory. How does it feel? I'm feeling great. But I was taking a little bit of fun with the team. I was taking a little chance in front of me. He won two games. Then it was my time. Now you're going to side. Finally, what a start to the game. Nothing. The day is good. It's going to be good. It's going to be good. All the best for the next three games. Good luck. I told you guys they could attack at any moment and you guys did. You look a little down though. Yes, because today I didn't get points for my team. But today's day is wrong with me. It's bad. So, it's not so tough. 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 Listen, this game of Tekken 7 is about the three points, but it is also about setting the mood, like we said in the beginning. And I think what you have shown today, it means that they can't take the Crusaders lightly. The Crusaders are at zero and Shekhar managed to get three points, but now it's still left. Let's see what happens. It's time for game two of the day, and I'm talking about Real Cricket 17, a game full of sixes, fours, excitement, and a lot of drama. And since the game is so different, the rules are also different. Take a look. This is a batting only match. Every player will face one over, which will be made to maximum runs. The player who will win maximum runs will win the match. To tie, both players will play a super over to decide the winner. From the Crusaders, I have Killer B. And from Akramux, I have Love SX. Killer B, the improvement in your performance has been remarkable. Aaj, how important is the toss for you? Yes, toss is so important for me. Because I would not like to play in pressure. So, you are saying that if you win toss, you have to do first batting. Yes, I have to do first batting. Wow, Love SX, our Yusaifer Yuvraj Singh. Aaj, how do you kill every ball and kill every ball? Because as you are playing, you are going to be like that. Let's see what happens today. If I win, I can win the batting and I can win the batting. Wow, that'll be fun to watch. So basically, you have to win the batting first. Yes. This will be an interesting toss. Who is calling? I'm. All right. Tail. Heads it is. All right, Akramaks. You are batting first. Crusaders, you will be chasing. 
gentlemen, good job. And it's time to play Royal Cricket 17. It's time for real cricket and now it's gonna be between the Akramaks and the Crusaders. On Akramaks we have Sagar Vyas aka Love SX and on Crusaders we have Killer B. Akramaks is gonna bat first. The first ball comes in and Sagar whacks it towards the boundary and just to the boundary it bounces. It's going for a four. Second ball comes in, whacks it towards the boundary. It's going for a six. Third ball of the over. Oh, and it's an LBW. He is out. Three balls, ten runs. A huge hit from Sagabias. It's going for a six. Second last ball of the over. Straight down the middle. It's going for a six. Last ball of the over. And that's a whack towards the boundary. It's going for a six. The Crusaders now need 29 runs to win the game. It's gonna be Siddhi Savant, aka Killer B, to bat next. First ball for the Crusaders. And it's an appeal for LBW, but he's not out. Second ball. Wax it towards the boundary. It's going for a six. Third ball of the over. A huge hit from Killer B. It is a six. The fourth ball comes in, wax it towards the boundary, it is going for a six. Four balls, 18 runs. And it's a huge again, but bounces off the boundary, it's a four. Last ball of the over. And it's an LBW out on the last ball and Saga Vyas wins it for the Akramax. What a game, what a victory, but you don't feel happy. No, I don't think so. Why did it happen? The balls came from 6 on 6. But I tried two balls and one wicket and one four. I'm actually very depressed. Hard luck, you win again. Congratulations, congratulations, Captain. With our three-pointer games over, it's time we move into the game that can truly put an either of our teams on the map. It's time we move into the game that can truly put either of our teams on the map. Figuratively and literally. I present to you CSGO. In this game, there are two teams. One is a terrorist team and the other is a counter-terrorist team. This is a team-based game that will be played in 5 vs 5 format. Which map will be played in the map? This will be a banning process. In the beginning, both teams get the game currency of $800. The aim of the terrorist team is to plant the bomb and secure it or kill all the counter-terrorists. The aim of the counter-terrorist team is to either defuse the bomb or kill all the terrorists. In this match, there will be 30 rounds and the first team to win 16 rounds is the game winner. In the case of a tie, the result will be decided with a race to four wins. Kappa, CSGO is your game and Manan seems to be your man. He's been the MVP three times. Manan, are you actually that violent in real life? You've got 30 kills, 30 kills. What? You know, I'm a very calm person. 
I'm only aggressive in the game, not outside of the game. But okay, if I actually gave you a real gun or a knife, would you be able to use it now? Yeah, definitely. Easily. Easily. That is a scary answer. <laughs> <laughs> Krish, how's that working out for you? Manan on their side, thrice he was the MVP. He's clearly like owning it. I think yeah, they are the best CSGO team according to me in the tournament. So yeah, let's see what happens today. All right, fingers crossed, fingers crossed, and I'm shielding myself from Manan. Good luck. Thank you. All the best. This is the map we do, and now let's see what do they choose. It's gonna be cash. Now it's time for the knife round and the winner of the knife round will get to choose the side. So they can play as in terrorist or a city as in counter terrorist. The knife begins. Kappa getting the first frag on magic mouse and instantly all the players of the crusaders are wiped out. The Akramaks and the Crusaders had a close match in the previous game and they were 16 to 14. So now let's see what is gonna be the stat for today for the Akramaks to win this game or the Crusaders might come back with a bang. Crusaders are rushing towards the side, Kavish gets a frag on SMX and Manan getting a nice trade over there. Manan getting one more frag onto the side, Kappa getting towards the vent room and the C4 is now getting planted on bomb side B. It's a 3 on 2 situation and magic goes down and Chris getting one more frag over here. And now Badman in the smoke, he is going for the defuse and has defused the bomb. The Akramux win the first round. Rex with the deagle slowly moving towards the bomb side B. And Kappa getting that kill on Magic Mouse and SMX getting a trade on Krish. Power instantly shutting down SMX over there. And now Rex holding an angle towards the headshot Bozi. He gives a nice headshot. And now Kappa with an instant trade over there. Manan moving from the city side. He gets a frag on Power. Now it's all on coverage. A one on three situation for him. He is with the AK, but Kappa is gonna shut him down. Nice throw! SMX blocking off the vision with the smoke towards the A main. And now SMX is going with a rush. Gets one frag, going for the second frag as well. And trying for the third one, but no, it's gonna be Rex to shut him down. And a good smoke wall build over here. And Magic is still gonna risk it and go through it. Well, Kappa with a good angle, well, Magic spots him. And that nade goes and blows up Kappa just like a rag doll. Magic falling back towards mid. He gets a kill on Manan. And now he is gonna go down by Batman. Mithil taking a frag towards the A mains. Now it's a one on two situation for them. And Kavish is playing smart, planting the bomb or the other bomb side. It's gonna be a B plant. This could be a clutch round for him. My player city side se rotate karte hua hai. Batman ne flash use kiya. Flash use karke dono headshot ki taraf ghus rahe the side ki taraf. To Kavish ne instant kill liya Batman pe. Uske baad wo log ye log dono ka encounter hua samne samne. To Mithil ne uska HP low kiya, lekin Mithil ne maar nahi paya. And Kavish getting two instant kills. What a clutch from him. Well, that nade is going to give a huge damage to the Crusaders. They are already on eco and the nade did worse. And now Mithil going just crazy, getting three instant kills towards the Crusaders. And now he is hungry for frag. He is looking for Chris. He has an info that he is behind Blue Doors. And he is now going to get him. Mithil looking like he is just on fire right now. He is just going for kills. Get a kill on power. And one more frag over Krish. He is going crazy with those frags. 
Rex over here. Missing that shot on the player, but still managing to shut down Mithil, ending his killing spree. SMX with a good angle, shuts down Kawesh. And now it's a nice trade from Rex and making it a 2v2 situation for them. Rex planting the C4 to the bomb side and Magic with his support. And Magic Mouse is on towards the bomb side. That round, Rex kept his calm and he was position ek mark kar raha tha. Usne do AP mar diye. Usko jabi malum pada mid rush hua hai. So he directly entered a bomb site and usne maa pe do kills le liye. Or fir jabi bomb plant ho gaya, baad mein usne last mein bhi ek ko mar ke wo round hamare liye safe kar diya. Finally, the Crusaders managed to pull one more round to the scoreboard. Mithil rushing towards the blue doors. He gets a frag on Kavesh. Magic Mouse waiting with a C. He's struggling with his accuracy, but still managing to get down Kappa. It's an eco round for the Crusaders. A pop flash going in and power with the orb. Well, he is gonna connect that shot over to Mithil, and he is going low on HP. Well, Batman holding towards the headshot posy. Over here, making it a 3v3 situation. Manan holding in the vents. And he is just gonna go in and get that frag towards power. He gets one more kill on Rex. Rex goes down. Chris left on one HP. And still, he managed to pull down Manan. And now, SMX versus Chris. Who's gonna win this one? And SMX is gonna shut him down. So, 13 to 2 is the first half. This is humiliation for the Crusaders. SMX slowly moving towards the bomb side. He spots a player, but Chris who is now gonna fall back. I rushed the city side and got a kill there. And then I saw the bag and saw the bag on the side. So I got a kill there. So basically, we captured the site at that time. Then I got a kill on the other heaven. So I got a kill on the other side. Then I got a kill on the other side. Then I got a kill on the other side. SMX is like full in the momentum and that he goes down by Rex. And this is not looking good for the Crusaders. One by one, the players are going down for them. And now Rex is left in a one-on-three situation. He just have like five bullets and now has to go for a reload. But looks like it's gonna be Manan who is rushing towards him for a knife. Manan goes down with the headshot, but Bikir is gonna shut him down. Power holding towards mid with his teammate, and now it's a flash for them. And Manan goes down. Mithil rushing towards mid, and Power gets on SMX. Mithil holding a good angle towards the box, and he gets crushed. Well, Power just getting a trade kill over here now. Batman in a one-on-four situation with his eagle. He is low on HP, and Rex is gonna shut him down. Nice, come on, guys. Nice. This is the last round for the Arkham Marks and they are on match point right now. Chris holding towards mid, he gets a frag but Kappa with the op shot on Chris. Chris goes down and now it's a 3 on 4 situation for the Arkham Marks. It's gonna be Batman who's gonna shut down Magic Mouse making it a 3v3 situation. The C4 has gone down on bomb side B. And now the players are moving to the side. Now it's gonna be a 2 on 2 situation. SMX holding a good angle. Well, he is struggling with his bullets, but Kappa is gonna shut down Rex with his op shot. And SMX is just juking Kavish on the bomb side and he shuts him down. So this is a GG. 16 to 6. The Akramax win the game. Nice one, guys. Default pe khele, proper communication kya, resources management achcha tha, aur aim sabka on point tha. Isko yeh jite. Unka to kena nahi chaunga kuch bhi, bura man jayenge. Sirf maine 16, 14, 8 on mara to Chris ki udas hogi. With a score of 16-6, the Akramaks had a smooth sail against the Crusaders in this game of CSGO. Did you enjoy it or was it too easy? No, it was too easy. We didn't think it would be so easy. Because last time, we had 16-14. So, it would be tough. But we didn't practice last time. This time, we had to practice. So, was it because you guys practiced or was it because you guys didn't practice at all? We didn't practice. We did our best, but... 
to be honest uh, we took a, i took a risk it was a map cash okay and we have never played it on a tournament so maine ek tarike se risk liya tha to catch them off guard crusaders really need to step up their game but we have rem stars game still left dota 2 is coming up and you are going to go celebrate kappa congratulations Good luck, buddy. Mere saath hai Ramsar from the Crusaders and Grape Soda from the Akram Bucks, who is the IGL for Dota 2. Grape Soda, you were not there for the first matchup. Abhi aap aayo against your friend. And how important is this game for you? Clean sweep karna kitna important hai? More than clean sweep, winning this game is important. Because a fun fact, uh, I have never lost a land in front. Of oh ho ho ho! So, your winning streak will continue here, and you can probably beat them the first time. Sometimes, sometimes, you have to finish it. Yusuf has given you a chance. Now, you are the winner, son. All the best. All the best. May the best in-game leader, Captain, win. Good luck, boy. Good luck. Well, it's no secret that the Crusaders and the Akramaks have both been struggling here on the Dota 2 circuit at Ucipher, but that's about to change for at least one of these two teams. Yes. Before the foregone even sounds, it looks like Max is about to lose his life in the bottom radiant jungle. He will indeed go down to Remstar, and then they're gonna look for another kill. Blue Frog lifted, thrown back out, attempts a TP, but it is in vain. A top lane dream on the Monkey King. He's got three stacks of Jingo. Has the fourth. Has the bundle strike. Is going to get the kill on the Titan. Under, but Bakemono might look for a response here. SSK with the Rubik does manage to secure the kill onto the Monkey King. No rest for the wicked as Monkey King is once again going to get jumped upon. This time under his own tower. He turns around with the stun. Blue Frog was there with two stuns as well. Bakemono not on the wrong side of the Fisher, so he'll survive for now. But the Primal Spring is there. Dream is still going forward elsewhere. Blue Frog continues to chase Darshan. Darshan just turns around and. Bits on Dream's face before hitting him with an anchor smash and trying to make a run for it. No one dies so far. Max is just getting greedy, running past the tower, gets lifted under the tier one, thrown back, continues to be tanky, shoots out at our Dukin, and gets that kill. Yo, it's been a mid lane echo slam, chain frost, everything in the kitchen sink being thrown out here by the Akramans. They're looking for a kill. SSK is dropping low. He is gonna end up falling. Dreams goes to double for the Wukong's command, but here comes the sweat. Brings down the Earth Shaker. Moves on to the Monkey King. Can Dream survive? He's gonna fall, but he's gonna take the sweat with him. Darshan, Bakemono, and Remsh are just pushing for an early tier one tower. There's a Doom coming up from Max onto the Tide Hunter Doom. I think it's been stolen by SSK and returned onto the Monkey King. Magnetar is controlling the Doom for a fair amount of. Time, but the mech keeps him alive not for long he's finally going to end up falling but dream finds the earth spirit as a trade they've lost the tier one down though Rem start near the rune looks for Max, but Max just blinks ahead. You got the boundless strike and the infernal blade, more than enough to bring down the Mirana. Bakemoto trying his best to bail out his core, but unsuccessful. Meanwhile, they're now on the wrong side of the river still, angling for Roshan. That ravage comes out on the tail end of it. They manage to connect onto the earth shaker. Now inside the pit, the Aegis is down. It's picked up by Darshan. Dreams dominating has been taken away by Bakemoto as well. But Bakemoto, he's looking for more. He's not content with just the Monkey King. Holds on to the Lich with their life and gets the kill. Akramaks, I'm a bit surprised with a Tinker on the side. They're not able to hold. They're going to lose the Doom. The tier three has fallen. Dream has the buyback. 
escape. Near is clear four. Invincible just jumping in. He's got the stuff, the grip to follow from Bakimonum, ensuring that he doesn't get the chain frost off. Green just TPs in on the Monkey King. Immediate lift coming out from SSK. Remstar gets the arrow onto the Monkey King. Darshan blinks forward, but Green just pops his BKB. Looks to fight, drops the boundless strike, but doesn't have too much HP. The march is there. Green trying to get the Wukong's command off. He's got the Shadow Blade that's gonna allow him to stay alive. It seems as if they have detection. Here comes Blue Frog with the Enchant Odin and the laser. They'll bring down the sweat. Kiko's got the hex. He's controlling the tide. But the real issue is that the Akramats have lost the lane of Barracks and Dream. Can't get any kill in exchange. Remstar's just going forward aggressively. They the lost Dutch will secure the kill barracks. on the Monkey King. They lost all their Barracks. They've given up an Aegis now to the Crusaders. They're coming in for one last round. This is the beginning of the end here for the Aftermath. The Ravage, the stuns, everything thrown on to Dream. He's got no buyback and he's down for 100 seconds. They've managed to lift up the Doom as well. Blue Frog's hanging for the Echo Stamp, but Darshan jumps in instead. Gets the Ravage off, gets another one off. Stop this man, somebody. As everybody on the side of Akramax has been cleaned up, they'll be forced to tap the GG. उनका जो प्लेयर है इन गेम निक मैक्स उसने मजाक में दो तीन बार बोला कि हाँ तू मेरा ना खेल तेरे को मेरा ना देखे मारेंगे थोड़ा सा प्रोक कर दिया था तो मैंने खाली खड़े होके उसके आंखों में देखा मेरे सामने बैठा था मैंने उसके आंखों में देखा और मैंने उसको बोला कि तेरे को ही मारूंगा अभी तो मैं ढूंढ ढूंढ के मारूंगा बोला था ईगो हार्ट मत कर दो पापा को पोटन देगा तू With that day, 18 comes to an end and Crusaders, you guys won Dota 2 finally, congratulations. And you guys won overall. The scores right now are Akramux at 11 and Crusaders at 5. One thing I would like to tell you, you are a true captain. I mean, you step up when it's required, you motivate your team, but the problem with Crusaders is that they are not taking it as seriously as you are taking it. Yeah, I've done a lot of sacrifices for I had to quit my job as well, uh, just to because of the tournament and the long structure of the tournament, I had to quit it. So right now also, like this game was a knockout game for us, but uh, we still have a bit hope. So next two games is the most important for us and uh, we have to revenge on And uh, I think so, uh, our team has got what we need to get 13-3 uh, or 16-0 as well. So hopefully if we get that uh, the next two games, then uh, we'll be back into the contention for the semi-finals. Coming back to Akramux, back-to-back -back victories. I mean, you guys won the first three games. Dota, chalo, koi baat nahi, but you guys got the 11 crucial points you needed. And now you are at a very comfortable position on the leaderboard. Maza raha ga. Maza raha nahi aara hai. Jo game jitna jeta, same score hua. First game, hum log ye log ke saamne same points liye the. Wo log ek hi game jeta the. Aaj bhi wohi repeat hua. To khush to nahi ho. Abhi aisa lag raha hai ke Dota mere ko khud ko khilna padega. Well, today has been a learning lesson for both the teams. And uh, all the best for the future matches. All the best. Good job, Akramax. Well, they seem to be making a habit of absolutely dominating sides when it comes to CS, and this is one of the men involved in that lovely squad of CSGO players that they've got at the Akramax. Mithil, kya hai that's so special among your side when it comes to CS? Acha team coordination hai, team work acha hai. As a team, round jitte bhi as a team, round harte bhi as a team. Koi ek dusre upar blame nahi karta yada. Aur isliye is baar alag map liya, cash map liya tha, bada map hai aur aim map hai. To hum logo ka sab logo ka aim acha hai, on point hai tha hamesha. To hum logo ne isliye bada map leke unko dominate karna start se chalu kar diya tha. And do you think that's a strategy you're going to start to use going forward also? Hmm, वो ही strategy हम लोग आगे भी use करने वाले हर एक team का बड़ा map ही लेने की सोचेंगे कि छोटा map नहीं लेंगे, ज़्यादा choke point रहते हैं उसपे, तो बड़ा map लेके ही खेलेंगे सबके सामने. Well, a loss in Dota, but a win all round before that, so I think that's safe to say that the Akramaks are still the favourites when it comes to CS:GO. They are the team to beat. Day 18 of you Cipher, and we've seen all of our teams grow stronger by the second. In fact, we've also seen a shift in gaming styles. The teams that started off on the back foot are finally getting offensive now and the teams that were already aggressive are just thirsty for more. After today's gameplay, the leaderboard looks like this. On the top, we have Marksman with 61 points. Yaksha is not far behind with 60 points. Sherdils with 51 points. Akramux with 46. Yodhas with 42. And last but not the least, Crusaders with 28 points. To watch today's entire gameplay, you can log on to usports.in. We'll be seeing you guys tomorrow for yet another matchup between Yakshas and the Yodhas. We'll be seeing you guys tomorrow, same time, same place, only on Usaifa Naya Sport, Naya Superstars, a U Sports initiative. My name is Varun. And I'm Aisha. Do you cipher?
बार इनको बोलने वाला हूँ इनको डू वॉट एवर यू वॉन्ट टू डू मैन बट वी हैव टू वेन टूडे टूडे विल ट्राई टू गो सिक्सटी नो अगेंस्ट दैम Say that it's insane. Are you kidding me? Am I right, bro?